Uh, so, first question, first NCAA tournament win in school history, how much does that mean? Uh, it's an incredible feeling. We knew we had a big opportunity here at the beginning of the season. This is where we wanted to be and to actually accomplish one of our goals and not only make it here, but win our first game is surreal. Uh, we're hoping the road doesn't end here, but for now, tonight we will celebrate and enjoy this amazing moment. And your guys' fans traveled really well. What can you say about the, the contingent of fans that made their way here? To I, cheer you guys on? Honestly, our fan support this year has been a huge game changer. Uh, this is my fifth year here and by far the most fan commitment we've had this year compared to other years. And it's it just more and more people come. And we knew there'd be less people this game. It's a long trip. The weather messed everything up. And yet still, we heard a lot of loud cheers pushing us on when the game gets tough. And that, that means everything to us, knowing that it's not only us on the field and the guys on the bench watching us, but other people care about us and what we're doing and support us. So. Yeah, and talking specifically about the game, you mentioned the weather. With that delay, it didn't seem like it impacted you guys too much. You know, what, what did you do to, to keep yourself on track during that cha time change? Uh, during the time change, I mean, every we, we were just ready to play. We were amped up to play. And so all we were doing was watching all the other games that were going on. And I think that just pumped everyone else up more, got everyone more motivated. And we also liked the idea of playing a night game. We, you know, we love playing under the lights, and that's what we got to do tonight. So. Talk about that first goal, not a very conventional goal, scoring directly off a corner. Talk about how that you guys fed off that momentum, uh, starting with the corner kick goal. Well, uh, up until we scored our first goal, we felt like the play was going our way. We'd been creating a lot of chances. Uh, and then finally, we set up for a corner. You know, we've gotten a lot of them this season. We've looked dangerous. We haven't scored a ton of them, though. And as usual, James played in a great corner, and I just tried to cause havoc for them. And I don't. It, exactly know what happened, who it hit off of, how it ended up in the goal, but it went in. And I think that it was very rewarding for us because we're like, we've been working hard. We've created chances. We finally got one up. Now we just keep playing our game now. And that just gave us, it was a bit of a confidence boost. Yeah, and, and they definitely didn't go, they definitely didn't go away. How mm -hmm. important was it for you to get that second goal and create that separation? Uh, yeah, I thought we played a very good first half, but uh, coming out of the second half, they came out on top of us. They were on fire. They were really jamming the ball down our throats and getting that goal relieved a lot of pressure. It you know, gave us that bit of a buffer and they, they still never really relented, but in the back of our heads, I think we all knew we felt a little more comfortable knowing that we had at least that two goal cushion. So. Greg, what, just, what did you describe your goal? You know, what, did, what did you see and what were you thinking? Um, so I'd, on my goal, I scored the second goal to put us up and uh, I knew Alex Costa was dri driving down the wing and I, I like to stay in the middle for crosses, but if I can, I would rather pick the ball up to my feet. And I kind of checked away and then showed to him, and he found me with the pass. It took a deflection off the defender, but it fell very kindly to me. And I wanted to take a touch, but I knew the defenders were closing, and it set up so nicely. I just figured I got to shoot, and good things happen when you shoot. And luckily, the mm -hmm. ball went in the goal. So, you guys saw Montclair State earlier in the year; it didn't go your way. What did you learn from that game that you think you could take into tomorrow? Uh, yeah, when we played Montclair State early in the year, uh, it was one of our first games, and it didn't go too well for us. They ended up beating us 3-1, um, but we, we knew they were a very good team already, and I think that game kind of cemented that for us. Uh, what we learned, though, is that we can play our game. There were moments where we had chances, and so I think we just got to come into this game confidently, but ultimately we have to respect every player on that team because we know everyone is very good, and it's definitely going to be a battle tomorrow. And my last question, how does it feel to just keep the season alive at least one more day? <laughs> it's, it's a great feeling. I mean, as harsh and sad as it sounds, but like seeing the other guys, how distraught they were on the other team when they lost, it's like we don't want that to be us. And we, it's something we've been saying is why not us? And we just want to keep going, play an extra day, extra week. You know, We're taking whatever we can, and we're enjoying every second of it. So.